Hello everyone, Berserker here, and welcome back to episode 3 of the Migrating Danes, my let's play for Total War Attila. So in the previous episode, we actually started the, lo the migration, and um, now I'm in modern day Germany. I'm in camping, so I can uh, replenish my troops, because I actually had a battle, and I suffered cold attrition for one turn. So I decided to uh, try and replenish my troops as much as possible. They're replenishing kind of slowly. But the winter is coming, so I better actually set sail to, um, to seize again. So I'm not gonna be suffering any of that attrition just during the winter. Um, so yeah, I can avoid that. And I'm not gonna be re replenishing while I'm at seas, but I'm not gonna be losing any troops either. And I can actually keep migrating. I know that's actually the place where I wanted to strike first and launch my first like uh, sacking somewhere here. But I noticed that this is actually uh, desolous. Uh, someone actually raised the settlement, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. So I'm just gonna keep um, keep sailing sailing through uh, what is modern France over here and see if I can find a settlement that I can uh, sack easily. Hopefully, get some money off of it and uh, be able to, you know. Oh, I can actually move a little bit, and uh, yeah, be able to get some money so I can even build some buildings for my uh um for my uh encampment at this point uh and a good place where i can settle you know i've been thinking about north africa is actually a really cool place on the map plus like it would be kind of um kind of interesting because i start in scandinavia one of the most north locations um and then i end up in north africa which is pretty much the most southern location on the map so i would have traveled a lot as a migrating tribe, uh, but I don't know, uh, might end up settling in Iberia because once again, I'm not gonna have to think about the winters. I'm not gonna be suffering any of the cold attrition there as well. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty interesting place where I can go. So let's see, illegitimate birth. I hate these so much because you can't really do anything about it. Ragnar, isn't that the guy that I married my daughter to? Yeah, now he's having illegitimate children. Oh man, that's pretty bad. To be honest. Why cannot... Oh yeah. Well, does this guy? Yeah, he's got 20 influence, that's why. And I can't assign these guys. I'm losing control of my faction as well, which is not great. I haven't been able to fight any battles yet, so... That means no... No influence, no stuff like that, so it's kinda... It's kinda bad. All right, let's just keep keep going. I have three more turns before the next winter. Right now is the spring, pretty much the best, um, the best season when it comes to this game. And here I meet some Jutes. Really? What are they doing so far away from their territory? Maybe raiding, going a Viking. I don't know. All right, I gotta research something as well, uh, and that will have to be. That's pretty interesting, but it's gonna take me six turns. We'll cover. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll go for that, then I'll go for that, and I'll just complete this thing, and then I can go for this. I guess because these are really useless at this point. Maybe that's not bad. Yeah, but no, I, I'd rather go for this, actually. Alright, because I can actually still recruit some troops. I'm, I'm just not doing it because I'll end up, like, losing money. So, I'd rather not do that. So, I think what the Jutes are doing right now is they're just trying to raise some settlements since they're getting extra money for it. I don't know. Probably. So, let's trouble as much as possible. And, uh... This is the connection between France and England, the La Manche, as far as I know. This should be it. Look at look at how close it is. And where can I go? I would have gone for this settlement once again, but it's already raised, so can't really do it. Maybe actually sail this way and see if I can get something. I'll try next turn actually. Uh, it's the summer next next turn, so yeah, I'll, I'll try that. 
Plus, I still need to, like, stay in encampment for a little bit so I can fully replenish all my troops. Plus, like, if I go to Saka Settlement, I'm gonna lose some extra troops as well. So, yeah. That's a thing I gotta consider. My first objective is to basically survive and not lose anything. And I don't know what my next objectives are. Hopefully, they're not, like, hold control of Scandinavia. Because that would be pretty bad since I decided to migrate to a completely different place. But, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll actually check it. As soon as I can. And... Should be about it. There we go. So let's see what my uh, general objectives are. So my first is to just survive. Uh, then I'll have to loot or sack five different settlements. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, research technology. What are my victory objectives? That's what I need. Uh, so I need to survive until this date. Once again, that's you cannot really complete the others without completing this one. So I don't know why it's even stated as an objective. I get the whole like end of the world theme and stuff like that. But it's kind of dumb if you ask me. Uh, maintain control of the fall. Yeah. So I really got a whole control of Scandinavia. But right now I have different priorities. So I can actually go for this one. Control of 60 settlements. Which is again kind of hard. And I'll still have to hold control of Scanza as well. So, yeah, well, I'll go for it at one point. But right now, I just wanted to try what it is to uh, be migrating as one of the uh, Norsemen tribes. Really wanted to try it out. Let's see the settlement over there. Londinium. It's actually a great target right now for me. It's a great target for a settlement that I can sack. Hopefully, next turn. Can I go in encampment? No, I cannot. So, no replenishing for me. Oh, I forgot to change the stance, which is kind of bad. But next turn, I can just sack Londinium as soon as possible. And I think that's actually going to give me a lot of money. I could just sack it and go back to seas again. So, next turn is going to be the autumn. And after that, the winter again. So timing should be about perfect. Uh, unless they have some really strong defenses. Or right now, I can't really see what they have. Uh, no, that's impossible. No way. That might, might end up being some free money for me then. If that's really the case. Oh wow! If if that if that's really it, really just one unit garrison? No, it should be just that I haven't like discovered what else they have. It's impossible for them to have just one unit uh, as a garrison, especially since this is kind of a major city, probably the biggest city in Britain right now. I I think that's it shouldn't be it. It'll be just too easy for me then. Too easy for anyone, really. Because anyone could just sack it. There's so many migrators and uh, factions that are just going places as well. Alright. This army is full. And this army is, well, somewhat healthy. I have a couple of troops. Um, a couple of units that are not fully replenished. But I guess I can go for it. Okay, let me get close to it and check the garrison again. <laughs> I refuse to believe that. I really refuse to believe that, but let's see. Let's declare war on these guys. Yeah, I think these are like all the troops that they have. I don't even know. I can actually go for the Western Roman Empire. Cause they should have some settlements over there. I don't. I don't care really. I'm just gonna sack this. It's gonna be should be an easy easy battle. Yeah, they actually have just one unit. Oh wow! Can't believe this. Uh, cannot just attack. 
option is unavailable because I don't have any siege equipment. Uh, they can hold for 13 turns, which is quite a lot. Well, I'm going to be auto-resolving this battle. I'm not going to be wasting any troops. Just going to get la four ladders. That's all I can build because my labor force is pretty low as far as I know. Um, yeah, this requires three. I can build either one of those or one of those. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be doing this as soon as possible. Yeah. Alright, well, it should be an easy battle, unless they have, like, a, like a fully stacked army somewhere. But if I can sack the settlement, it's, it's great, because it should be, like, a really rich settlement. That's interesting, how they, it's such a big city, and it's got just one unit protecting it. Like, it doesn't even count, like, one unit of Nordic Levy. By the way, concern, uh, again, for this game is that they didn't add any of the, like, British Celtic units, and they just have, like, Nordic Levy, as you can see. They don't have any of their own units yet, and they're gonna be added as a DLC, probably. But, I talked about this, don't wanna go there again, but, yeah. Expect some DLC pretty soon, I guess. Um... Illegitimate birth again. Oh. Really? Rank gain. Nice. So, let's just rank up my general first. I'm gonna have this as well. Research plus three for military development. That's not bad. Uh, so, I'm gonna go for that. And what else can I go for? If I can get some replenishment... Or, this would be pretty good as well. Yeah, I think that's great. So let's attack. How old is this guy, actually? I want to know. He is 47 years old. All right. Just wanted to check. And let's just auto-resolve. Uh, should go for balanced, if you think about it. Not balanced, but protective, I mean. Sorry. And that should be an easy sack for me. Victory. I lost 40 troops, which is better than I could ever expect. Um, don't want to occupy it. Just want to sack it. That's not. It's not as much as I thought it would be. But hey, I sacked my first settlement, and now I can actually return safely to the seas again. Huh? Can I go and? There you go. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, my... Who's that? Oh. Okay, so these guys leveled up as well. Uh, integrity. When in allied territory. I don't have allied territory at this point. Let's change the banners as well. I don't like bigs. They're not really a thing that uh, the Vikings used as their banners. banners. They were usually like uh, birds, like ravens and stuff like that. Ravens, dragons, but not bigs, definitely. Uh, this army is like a dragon. Yeah, I guess that that that's Viking enough. And let's have all of these guys. So obviously I'm gonna be getting that. And this should be morale versus Romans could be pretty useful during forest battles. Am I gonna be fighting any forest battles? I guess that will be more useful because I'm gonna be attacking the Romans soon. Can go for uh yeah, I wanna get this bonus, so I'm gonna be going for this one. And so far, so good. I sacked my first settlement. Now I just gotta find a place where I can encamp. Uh, maybe I'm gonna be going somewhere here again. Yeah. Everything is going according to plan right now. I just wanna find places that are more suitable for settling. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't wanna be migrating for too long. You know, it's just a, a thing before I can find like a, like a normal place where I can settle. I think like once you actually decide to start migrating, um, the victory objectives 
should change as well. Because, you know, I might, I might want to start migrating as any faction, really. And I might want to settle anywhere. That's one of the, the best things about this game. And now if I want to actually win the campaign, I will have to hold control of Scandinavia. And I, as I, as I told you, I, I, I want to settle in, like, Iberia. Oh, it's a cinematic. Haven't seen this one yet. They made ready for war. All right. The world had fallen into shadow. Is that the birth of Attila? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, there's Attila. All knelt before him. For they knew he would devour the earth. So I've seen this one actually. On fire the foundations of the mountains. Oh, that's pretty cool. Was born from darkness and despair. Alright, so until is born, we we'll still have some time before he like grows up and decides to go batshit crazy, but yeah. He's born. Mission issued. Chapter 2, Desolation. Oh, I actually got some money from surviving. Alright, free money then. Thank you very much. Uh, Chance of having children minus 20%. I have two sons already, so I don't really need uh, to have more. So, okay, so the climate's gonna change now as well. This is kind of new for me. Uh, I'm migrating right now, and I'm gonna be settling to a place where I'm not gonna be able to, where I'm not really gonna be concerned about um, climate really so yeah I, I don't think that's a concern for me right now oh no don't go there do not go there there you go that's where I want to go and here as well I'm tr trespassing I don't really care to be honest can I go here yeah and can I change to encampment no I cannot well, I guess next turn then. Or I can just go south a little bit and try and sack one more settlement as well. Because why not? Let's see if I can do anything with my family members now. This guy, 15, he's almost suitable for that. Can't really do anything with this guy. He's still got four influence. My dominion's pretty good. Uh, my control is pretty low. I don't like that. But at this point, I, I don't really think there's a thing I can do about it at this point. So, yeah. Alright. And I think, once again, that's going to be everything from this episode. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one where we're going to continue and hopefully fight some Romans this time. So, yeah. That's going to be it. See you next time.